Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Uh, I'm sitting in our new project on Dover Court, just south of Bloor. And I wanted to sort of show you guys around uh, the before video, I guess, of our entire project here. To give you a bit of background on the project, um, I, we saw this property on the August long weekend. We tied it up. I saw it on, I believe, on a Saturday morning. We had it under contract by Sunday, which was really good because when everyone came back from the long weekend, there was like 12 or 13 showings set up for early that week. And we had already purchased it and had it under contract and were able to do our due diligence on it. So we had a quick closing. Uh, it was six weeks from beginning to end from the time we made the offer to the time we closed. I would not recommend this to people for the most part. It was probably a little bit too short and we ended up having to extend our closing by uh, two days and we did incur a small penalty for having to do that. So if you can extend your closings, uh, I would say minimum eight weeks, especially when it comes to a project like this, because when the banks look at it and it's been demoed already and somebody else had just purchased it uh, six or nine months before this, uh, they're always concerned that there's some sort of problem with the project and so they're a little reluctant to finance it. So if you're going into a situation like this, I would say make sure you give yourself enough time for closing. So we closed on this property uh, about a week ago and I wanted to kind of walk you through and show you around uh, what's, what's here now and then what the plan is uh, in terms of how we're going to renovate it. This is going to be an eight unit building. Um, so this will be basically two units per floor, basement, main floor, second floor, and third floor will each have two units. Uh, there'll be a different unit count on each floor. Some have two bedrooms, some have one bedroom, and I'll kind of explain that uh, throughout the, as, the, as we walk through. Uh, but the plan is to have about uh, nine to 12 months on the reno timeline. Um, and the beauty of this project was we had purchased it from the sellers and the sellers already put in an application for what's called the Committee of Adjustments. Committee of Adjustments is a process where you have to uh, submit your building plans and if they're outside of the parameters on anything when it comes to the bylaws of the local municipality, you have to go for minor variances. So we had about six or seven minor variances on this project. One was they wanted to put in um, uh, eight suites um, and that was that triggered a variance not because the property wasn't zoned for it uh, but there was a certain square footage that was allowed to be what's called secondary suites and we exceeded that another one was parking uh, there was some other minor variances but the previous sellers had submitted the application in February and we actually had a date uh, for the Committee of Adjustments the day that we ended up closing on the property. And this property got approved for the eight units. So now we can basically go ahead from this moment forward, we can start actually building. And so that was a huge advantage to us uh, and be able to pick up this property with the Committee of Adjustments application already being submitted and basically being approved on the day that we took possession. So that's really helped our timeline and helped us um, be able to expedite things. So we still have a long way to go on this project, uh, as you'll see when we start to walk around. But let me show you around, let me show you what, uh, what's existing, uh, where we are starting on this project, and then we're gonna do lots of videos on this transaction. So you'll get to see what's going on from beginning to end. Uh, this will be a 12 month renovation, um, and I can't wait to show you guys what's here now versus what's gonna be here in 12 months. So let's, uh, let's take a look around. So we're on the main floor right now. This is the, the door to the actual, the front door. Um, but really, uh, right now it's, it's all opened up. There's, there's not a lot that was left. It's basically, we're down to like interior structural walls. Couldn't take these out because if you took them out, uh, the floor joists would have nothing to rest on. But everything has been demolished. This would have been lath and plaster. Uh, so all of the lath has been removed, all the plaster has been removed. So a big chunk of the demolition has been done. And now we're trying to decide whether we're gonna keep uh, the existing floor assemblies or whether we're actually going to remove all the interior framing as well and start fresh because then we can move all of the, of the load bearing walls. And we wanted to extend it out to here, for instance, these joists don't have enough span to be able to do that. So we'd be redoing them anyway. So our architect has said, it might be easier for us to just actually start from scratch with all brand new floor assemblies, because then we can move the load bearing walls and our spans can be longer and we can really change the layout however we'd like. The main floor is about, let's call it a thousand square feet right now. Um, the, the building itself is about 3000 square feet. We're going to make it close to 6,000 square feet. So we're almost doubling the square footage of the building right here. Beyond uh, this wall here is the front porch and we're actually going to capture about half of the front porch as living space. So this wall will be blown out about half of it. There'll be a beam that's put in. We're going to capture this area. The back wall here is also going to be completely blown out. 
So this wall will be removed and there is a 20 by 30 addition going off the back. That'll be in the basement on the main floor and also on uh, the, the second and third floor. The third floor steps back a little bit, but essentially we'll have this, this massive addition off the back and that's what will give us our square footage that we're gonna end up with. So on the main floor here, there'll be a three bedroom unit in the back and a two bedroom unit in the front. And I'll take you down to the basement and show you what's going on down there. So we're in the basement now. Um, actually the basement ceiling height is not bad. I think it's about uh, just over seven feet, which is, Abnormal for, for a house in this area. Yeah, we're seven foot uh, two. So we're deciding whether we're going to underpin the basement, which means we're going to drop the floor. Or if we go with a new floor assembly, we can actually raise the floor up by a foot. So that would give us a full eight feet. So we're just trying to decide whether we're going to do either underpinning or raising the floor up. But either way, these floors will go to eight feet in the basement here. Uh, where I'm standing is kind of the front of the property. So there'll be um, two bedroom unit in the front and there'll also be a two bedroom unit in the back. This wall right here is going to be blown out um, and we're gonna capture the area that's underneath the stairs here. This, so this is underneath the front porch. Um, so this will end up being a bedroom in here. So this wall is gonna be removed and there'll be a, a framed wall here, but this will be a bedroom. Um, and we'll be using this space as interior space. The entrance for one of the basement units is going to be right here. So there's, uh, there'll be a staircase that comes down on the exterior of the building and this will be removed and there'll be a door put into here. Uh, the second exit, will, the second entrance will be at the back of the building where we do the addition. So the addition is going to be back here. Um, this will be all the back units. Um, and again, there'll be the, this wall will be removed and this will be the 20 by 30 addition here on the back as well. The foundation will be extended and then we'll be building up from there. So the basement is actually not in bad condition. There was asbestos tiles on the floor here. So these were just removed yesterday. Uh, they have to be removed in a, in a certain way that meets the guidelines for asbestos removal. But now we're basically at a point where the building is, is ready to be um, you know, either underpinned or whether we're gonna start framing. We're just waiting for permits at this point. So once we're ready to go, we can actually start to, to start building on this project. So as you can see, this is a stone foundation, which would have been very typical of a home this age. Um, stone is not great for, for waterproofing um, because you'll see like the water will get into the cracks here. It'll freeze, it'll expand, it'll crack, and then it'll start to deteriorate. But we're gonna take up the floor no matter whether we underpin or whether we do a brand new floor. And then we'll do interior waterproofing here. So we would have a weeping tile system that goes around the entire perimeter of the property. Um, we'll have a sump pit and then we'll have interior waterproofing and then the walls will get put up against the interior waterproofing which will mean this whole basement will essentially be waterproof at that point which is really important on an old foundation like this when it comes to stone because you really want to preserve the stone make sure that it's, uh, that it's taken care of but also you don't want to have to uh, redo the entire foundation so we'll use the foundation the stone foundation will waterproof from the inside and we'll be good to go for for many many years on this project so we're on the second floor now um, second floor is very similar to the first floor in terms of square footage. Uh, ceiling height is a little bit less here, so we're about uh, eight foot, uh, eight, eight and a half feet. On this floor, we're about nine and a half feet on the main floor. Uh, you can see an old fireplace here. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, there is a chimney there, so this was a working fireplace. We're gonna be removing this. Um, we won't be able to, to reuse that. And again, everything in here is gonna be coming out or coming down, and we'll be reframing all of this. We'll have all new windows throughout the house. So everything is going to be changed out from, from that perspective. And all of the floor plans will change up here. So on this floor, we'll have a two bedroom unit in the back and a one bedroom unit in the front. So in the basement, we've got two bedroom, two bedroom. Main floor is three bedroom, two bedroom. Second floor is two bedroom, one bedroom. And then the third floor is going to be one bedroom, one bedroom. So our unit count here, will have three one bedroom units. We'll have four two bedroom units and we'll have one three bedroom unit. So that's the, the makeup of the house. Uh, you can kind of see at the back here. So this is a, a little addition that was done. This will all be coming down and this back wall of this house will be blown out as well. And again, we'll have the addition back here, the 20 by 30 addition. That will be the full depth uh, on the second floor. And then on the third floor, it steps back a little bit, which is a, a smaller footprint anyway. And that's why we've got the, the two one bedroom units on the third floor. So now we're up on the third floor of the property. So we're actually gonna go three full stories on this house. So most of this will be coming down uh, because essentially we're gonna have a brand new third story. 
So this back wall here will get entirely blown out and we'll be going back probably another 30, 40 feet. Um, we'll have a flat roof up here. So the front part will stay the same. So the architectural uh, design of the front of the house won't change all that much. Uh, we'll keep the sloped ceiling at the front and then essentially from this point all the way to the back will be a flat roof. So we'll be able to probably gain a little bit of ceiling height. We'll probably go up to a standard eight foot ceiling on the third floor. But this will essentially be a big kind of like box up here, flat roof, and then all the way to the back wall. Uh, but the front of the house will essentially stay mostly the same. So we're at the back of the property now. Um, so you can see that there's a, a two car garage here. Uh, the two car garage is actually coming down, but we're gonna capture that square footage. So this will be where the extension comes out to. Um, and we'll go two stories up from there. We'll step back a little bit on the third story, but this is where the property will go to essentially when, with our new addition. Uh, we've got some green space here and then behind us uh, will be parking. So we'll have three car parking here. We've got the laneway access and we're considering doing a laneway suite back here as well. So we'll actually rough it in from the house. We'll bring the plumbing lines out through the foundation. We'll bury them there. And if we wanted to ever do a laneway house in the future, we'll have that ability to be able to do that because we'll rough it in while we're doing the construction. Um, so this is all pretty much coming down. Everything will be brand new back here. Uh, we'll have new fencing. We'll be closing everything in, uh, making the, uh, the property just much more enjoyable for the tenants that are going to be living in this building. So it's not looking like much right now, but we're super excited about this property and, uh, and what's going to be what it's going to be in the future. And I'm, I hope you guys will join us along our journey. It's going to take some time to get this property completed, but you'll really get to see how we do an eight unit conversion project from beginning to end. Uh, on this project and also our other project oak mount that's starting in about another month so if you guys enjoyed the video today if you don't mind uh, go ahead and hit the the like button you can also subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell please feel free to leave comments questions below for me i'd love to hear what, you have, what your thoughts are on the on the existing building you can also follow me on facebook instagram or check out my website at getterinvoros.com with that i'll say thank you guys so much for watching wish you the best of success on your real estate investment journey and i look forward to hearing your success stories very soon